Hello guys, in the recent days, game optimizing service has been a hot topic, right? Finally, Samsung acknowledged the GOS problem. Game optimizing service is purposely totaling the performance of 10,000 apps on its phone, including lots of games in order to maintain device temperature and power consumption. And that's kind of bullshit, right? Uh, if you remember, I have been doing GOS problem videos in the past and I have so, so many videos on it. Finally, this topic is hot right now. To be honest, GOS is cracked after one UI 4.0. Even with, even with disable GOS, some features still seems active. In the past, when I disable GOS, the PUBG Mobile could be forced 90 FPS continuously. But after One UI 4.0, uh, I have been getting lots of fluctuation on FPS. There was a statement that Samsung will finally give an option to disable cost via a game booster or some additional features uh, that will bypass the game optimizing service. Let's see what will be on the table, right? I'm finally happy that I have been lobbying game optimizing service and our voices are reaching the right place. So good job guys. Basically there are a few methods to disable GOS. I have mentioned many many times before so the easiest way is to buy third party apps like this. I have many videos on it. Another method that I has been emerging these days by Korean YouTubers. This method is very very simple, easy and free also. You just need to download NetGuard uh, app from the Play Store, which is absolutely for free. After you download, you just need to click three dots. Mm, it's the settings. Uh, then in the advanced option, you need to give permission to change system files. Then I enable NetGuard and disable all the system files related to the game. Uh, this method is even better as you can able to use game plugins and game booster plus uh, you can change some graphics and tweak some fps setup for your device high-end device you can go maximum mm, graphics quality for the low-end device you can go max minimum graphic quality while playing in this method the average fps i got was 71.3 in pubg mobile gameplay while using Third party app package disabler pro apps. The average FPS I got was 68. I think the netcard method seems better as you can able to use uh, game plugin features. There are so many really really great features. So when I use both methods together, the FPS FPS went to worse. <laughs> For now, just use the netcard method. And kudos to the Korean YouTuber. As I mentioned before. Samsung should give an update that will give the opportunity to disable game optimizing service or some feature that bypass game optimizing service problem, right? So Samsung addresses that throttling reports says an update is on the way. Let's wait guys. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon.